Welcome or welcome back everyone to my cooking channel Cooking with Frenchie. I'm David and today we are going to talk about the palmiers or the elephant heels or the heart of France. Uh, this is a little biscuit that is made of puff pastry. I made my homemade puff pastry. I have a link under this video in the description for you if you choose to do so. However, if you can't be bothered and you don't have time, just use convenient homemade puff pastry. I'm going to use a little bit of icing sugar and also cinnamon or cassia for the people who like to call it that way. And we are going to make those little biscuits in less than 10-15 minutes. So check out my recipe, but before you go, make sure you subscribe as usual, you change your notification bell setting, and you also leave me some like, some comment, and we'll check it after. So. Look at those layers of love, they good for the soul, so enjoy like I do. Mmm, so good. What, you want some too? He loves it. He's a friend. Why? Are you ready for the palmiers? So here I've got my cinnamon and sifted icing sugar. My homemade puff pastry. I only give it five four, but as I said before, you can use convenient puff pastry. So mix your cinnamon and icing sugar together. Just quickly. Make sure you leave your puff pastry outside for about 10-15 minutes to come back to a room temperature uh, that the puff pastry is uh, nice and a bit soft, the butter is not too hard. I'm just having a check through it. Love those layers, you can see the layers just there. Just beautiful. So we are going to use the icing sugar mixture as a dusting, really. And we are going to roll out our puff pastry in front of us and try to give it a rectangular shape about 30 centimeters long and 20 centimeters wide. So here I'm rolling out and I make sure that it doesn't stick too much to the bench. But this week is very special. Uh, I'm celebrating one year of cooking with Frenchie. So thank you everyone for following. Thank you everyone for checking the website, leaving me some comments, sharing the recipe. Um, the plan for the year hasn't been as I wanted to, but I will manage and try to give you way more recipes this year coming up. Um, Hopefully some new stuff is going to come up around September as well as I am traveling the state. So the crew and I will be going around WA and hopefully we'll give you some recipe from the bush. So here I'm finishing my turn so like I do for my puff pastry you will have the link under the uh, recipe under the video in the description. I'll put the link to this recipe, the palmiers, but also to my homemade puff pastry. So here I give it another turn, it's rolling out. It's good to do so, it gives uh, uh, the palmiers a little bit more flavor in terms of sugar and sweetness, but that's why I had a little bit of cinnamon, that's my little twist. Once I've done my last turn, and as you see I marked it with six marks, is to say I've done six turns. It's really a little trick that pastry chef have, uh, just in case you forget, just in case you have many people on shift and don't know where you are with the puff pastry, by little in dense like this, everybody knows what's going on. So I'm testing my bench again. I made sure I let my puff pastry coming back to room temperature. I'm checking here with my finger if it's actually it is. If I feel that the butter is too hard and it's my puff pastry is cracking on the side. I will actually leave it there for another 5-10 minutes and check again prior roll out. 
as you see the cinnamon and the moisture of the fridge start to work as it colors a little bit the pastry so you might think it's a lot of sugar and it's not actually 50 gram for 500 gram that's a little 10 percent and not too sweet so i'm shaping my um, my puff to be another 30 centimeters long and 20 centimeters wide and i'm putting the entire sugar and smear it as much as you can a little bit more roll check if it's about two millimeter thick it's a good thickness grab all the sugar you can i'm folding the top layer towards me and the bottom layer and as you see i'm adjusting i'm trying to do a quarter a little bit and i'm folding again just to have that little ply there in the middle some people fold it a little bit more one more fold in between no problem it's up to you it's up to the shape you want to give them put the sugar all over make sure you tap it and smear it all the sugar should be around and here i'm gonna let it rest for 10 15 minutes even 20 meanwhile i prepared a tray with baking paper and i cut my palmiers of the size of one centimeter thick and this is made quite a large palmiers you will have at least four to five bites per palmiers really put them on the tray space them at about three centimeters away from each other as they bake you will see they expand quite a, a lot that's the beauty of making quality puff pastry look at those little layers of love little nice color one day i'll show you maybe how to make with chocolate the chocolate puff pastry it's nice too it's fun i suspect them out on the tray and now we can see really the distinct color of the cinnamon and the icing sugar. Meanwhile, my oven is preheating at 200 degrees, pan forced. And when it's hot, I'll bake them for 8 to 10 minutes on one side. Just make sure you check. And then I turn them around each and every one and I'll bake them for another eight to 10 minutes on the other side. So you can see the nice caramelization and the golden color done due by the icing sugar and the cinnamon. It's beautiful. So that's after 20 minutes of baking and nice and shiny. Let them cool down on a rack for about 20 minutes after an hour. They're just nice and ready to go, ready to eat. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Look at these layers of love. Thank you for watching and see you next time.